Get ready, guys. Mondo just announced their tease, and you know what that means. The pre-orders are coming soon. Hey, guys, Jay. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, <laughs> Mondo's done it again. They've released their first tease for the Master Universe 1-6 scale Tila figure. And in traditional Mondo fashion, whenever they tease something, that usually means that a pre-order is not too far away. So, I wanted to get ahead of this and let everybody know that Tila is on her way. And take a deep dive and look again at some of the amazing photos that were taken at last year's Designer Con to remind us just how awesome this figure is going to be. And let's not forget that Flip Or is on its last weekend to back this amazing campaign. Thank you guys for everyone who's already supported this campaign. You guys are the best. Remember guys, we're trying to reach $200,000 in pledges. And we're so close to that goal. And with that, we'll be able to give away so many new accessories with a standard flip bar for only $49. But in the meantime, let's take a look at what was announced today on Mondo's Instagram, Twitter, and social media pages. Guys, this is going to be amazing. Let's have a look. Guys, the Master Universe news just does not stop. Thanks to Thundercats Collectors Hub on Instagram, <laughs> they just sent me this crazy image from Mondo News. And I just wanted to talk about this, guys, because we got to get ready. We got to get ready because you know when they when Mondo drops images, it pretty much means that a few days from now, they're going to put up an announcement, which kind of could be a few days later is when the actual pre-orders go up. So let's take a look at what Mondo actually announced today, teased, if you will, on MondoNews.com on their all of their social media pages. On Mondo, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, they were announcing something big today for Master Universe fans. And I gotta tell you, I've been waiting for this one for a long time, everybody. Oh my gosh, Tila, the captain of the guard, is coming. Yo, Mondo, hashtag, where's Tila? <laughs> Shouting out the master of the photographs, Raul Barrero. Man, this is crazy. Look at this image we have. Tila, Captain of the Guard, staring right into the eyes of her staff. Ka, literally mesmerizing herself, putting her in some sort of trance. I love the overall red hues, the absolute atmosphere that's being presented here. Almost foreshadowing exactly what happened in Revelations when she literally became the Tri-Sorceress. This is amazing. Let's take a deeper dive into this because there's a lot to take in here, guys. As we know, back in December... Everyone from Mad Hatter, who was at DesignerCon 2023, <laughs> showcased some very interesting shots of the Mondo booth tour. It was a lot of fun. Everybody, like Toy Shiz, was there. Good friends of the channel, 4 was also covering it and sharing screens from In Pursuit of Toys. And look at this. Oh my god, she's just absolutely gorgeous. From every single angle that you could get her from, she was just the bomb. Display Shelf was showing shots from the Mad Hatter's video. Good friend of the channel, Tommy Hodges, the man himself, Sculpt Viper Tommy, was showing off images on his page. I mean, look at this. The debut of Tila at DesignerCon was just blowing people away. I love the way she looks, that beautiful hair that she's so well known for, her tiara, and just the, the overall sculpt. I mean, really, Tommy has captured everything about this character. I love the fleece that's around her neck and her armor. Everything about this is just screams Masters Universe. She's just absolutely gorgeous. I think it is a slightly different buck than what they used for Princess of Power, She-Ra. I mean, her arms. Her arms are very different from She-Ra's, just crazy. I love the armor bits that's everywhere, including that, I don't know what to, to call it really, I, I guess it's just an adornment in the front of her midsection. I'd have to get a closer look at it, but I do know that this part is actually been featured in Filmation Cartoon. There's actually a, uh, a pouch in there where she can pull out additional weapons like little grenades and things like that. It's a lot of fun, but just her overall sculpt is just gorgeous. I mean, look, this is Tila captured in one of the most beautiful ways. I mean, Tommy has just done something absolutely incredible here. I am through the moon looking at this character. She really will be a wonderful addition to my Master Universe shelf. I love the little highlights of orange that are in the hair just to kind of break it up. And of course, the tiara that she wears, and now adorned with additional spikes. Man, just wonderful little additions that you, you just have to love. The sculpt on the female characters has been top-notch for all of the Mondo releases. She-Ra, Rogue, and now Tila, I can't wait. And of course, that wonderful little fleece, I don't know what they're using to actually capture that. I, I think it's just some sort of synthetic material, but it looks so good. From the side, we can see that Tila is actually sporting that little ponytail that she has. I love it. So much fun with this particular character. I can't believe we're finally getting a chance to pick up Tila 
in the Mondo 1-6 scale figure edition. And then, of course, everyone at the show was talking about both Rogue and Tila's backside. Of course, why wouldn't we do that? Matt Hatter talked about it. Everyone was talking about it. And she does look amazing here. I really do like the idea that there is a way to strap up her attire, if you will. And that really does give an idea as to how these people get into their suits. I mean, you just can't slip onto this thing. It is like really snug fitting. And I really like the attention to detail on that. Bravo, Tommy. That's just amazing. I really do like the work that's in the upper arm bracelets. She really is a wonderful sculpt, and I'm so excited that we're finally going to be getting Tila. Look at those boots. Oh my god. Tommy, if you are the one who sculpted this, it is absolutely amazing, and I can't wait until we add Tila to the collection. She really is going to round out the Mondo 1-6 scale editions very, very nicely. Taking a look again at some of the coming soon photos that were presented at PowerCon and San Diego Comic-Con, Tila's going to come with a lot of great stuff. She comes with her cost headdress she comes with a 2000x head sculpt an additional swapped head sculpt i think that might be a grimacing face she comes with her sword her shield her staff caw and a javelin amazing now remember these were just the early prototypes and that means that we can possibly hopefully maybe even see even more additions to tila but that will be revealed very very soon i'm pretty sure as this tease is usually an indication that Mondo is ready to release this for pre-orders very, very soon. Guys, the Master Universe continues to impress, and Mondo continues to bring amazing work. Thanks to sculptors like Sculpt Fiber Tommy. Thank you so much, Tommy. You're amazing. And don't forget, guys, the Hatter himself also got the treatment from the Sculpt Viper Tommy celebrating the Flip Bar Kickstarter, which only has two days to go, guys. We're trying to get to 200,000 in pledges so that we can unlock the final stretch goal to get all of these amazing additions to a standard flip bar for only $49. Guys, I will have links in the description below where you can support flip bar for the final weekend of the flip bar campaign. Thank you so much, guys. We really do appreciate it. Mondo keeps bringing it strong, everybody, in 2024. And finally, Tila, Captain of the Guard, Masters of the Universe, is going to be announced very, very soon from Mondo. This is absolutely amazing. Holy crap, guys. The Masters of the Universe from Mondo are getting absolutely deep right now we're getting so many amazing new characters like skeletor 40th anniversary he-man 40th anniversary she-ra trap jaw beast man it just keeps going on and on and on and it's just amazing and now we can add tila to that incredible list and i gotta tell you she is looking fabulous let me know in the comment section below guys are you interested in picking up tila from the master universe 1c scale edition are you ready to drop some hard-earned cash for these one-scale figures as they continue to make their rounds? Or is this just way too much money right now for 2024 and you're going to consider holding off until they have the regular release, Tila? Let me know those comments in the comment section below, guys. Don't forget that this is the last weekend to back Flip or For all you Barbarian fans out there, this is the Flipper who will just take your action figures and never give them back. This is just an amazing opportunity to help support this amazing project. He already comes with two money bags, the swappable glasses. He comes with Katcha. He comes with the Scepter of FOMO, the Pocket Watch, the Cloak of Tarjay, and the Scooper and Replaceable Hand. That's just the basic package for Flip or. And if we reach our $200,000 goal, Flipper will come with an incredible amount of stuff for only $49. He'll come with an additional swap beat up head. He will come with an additional set of glasses, which are broken. The cube of NFT, <laughs> which nobody knows what it does. He'll come with the talk to the hand hands, the holding hands for the four included minifigures on backing cards, which he can hold with the gripping hands. He will come with the boxes for the toys, including the Fantastic Plastic Pectastic Turtle Set, the Galactic Rodents of Mayhem Bash, and of course, the Piss Tank. Guys, this is an incredible opportunity to get an incredible amount of accessories included with a $49 figure. Please support Flipboar, and thanks to everybody who's already supported him so far. Guys, the community really did rally together to help Flipboar become a reality. Thank you so much. It really means the world to us. Please head over to the Flipboard campaign. I will have links in the description below where you guys can support Flipboard in its last weekend on Kickstarter. And remember, guys, once it's gone, it is absolutely gone. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please do leave me a like. It really does help me out. And if you're in the position to help the channel, please consider checking out my Patreon page 
It's Mega J Retro on Patreon. Guys, the patrons and channel members of this channel help me make wonderful episodes every single week, and I couldn't do it without them. They are the best. Thank you so much for your support, everybody. It really means the world to me. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe. And as always, everybody, thank you very much for watching. We have the power, everybody. We have the power. And Tila is coming to the Mondo Masters of the Universe collection. Good journey, everybody. Geek proud.